Good day to everyone. Welcome to our introduction to HTML programming. Kevin here. This time I'm completely by myself, but that's totally fine. I probably won't be for every single one of these, but I just wanted to get a heads up on getting some of this HTML stuff knocked out, especially the easy stuff. Today in lesson one, uh, we're basically just going to go over what HTML is, uh, you know, what it's used for, um, and things like that. And we're going to write a very simple Hello World program. Now I just want to say up front that there are a lot of HTML editors out there that do the work for you. However, it is a really good idea to know how to do it, you know, from a very basic level. In the event you wanted to do some manual stuff, it's also going to help out when you get into doing PHP and things like that. So, let's get started. Uh, I'm here using my Windows 2000 Advanced Server box, so let me just log in. And here, starting out, we're going to use very, very, very primitive tools. So, what we're going to use is basically just Notepad to get everything started. Now, excuse me, I gotta, I will configure this. Forget about what I'm doing here. This is just um, making so this doesn't pop up when the computer boots. We're going to save our web documents for these tutorials in our My Documents directory. I'm going to create a directory. And Windows XP has this by default, but we're using Windows 2000. My Webs. So we're going to save all of our documents in our My Webs directory and uh, all of our HTML documents here. Close that. So let us open up our fantastically sophisticated Notepad. This is how we're going to be writing our HTML docies here in good old Notepad. We're probably going to use something else later that highlights our syntax but for right now we're going to be using this uh, basically HTML let's visit a web page and we'll take a look at well Microsoft.com just happens to be ooh, look at this just happens to be the website that opens up here from the beginning or MSN.com let's go to view and let's go to source here we can actually read the HTML that this page causes. Now let's wrap it. If I go to format, word wrap there. A little bit more readable, but still. All this confusing junk is HTML code. Uh, a combination of a whole bunch of different things. So we can just scroll right through. We could see some JavaScript in here. We can see we saw some styles a minute ago. We see some classes in here. So this is a pretty sophisticated web document. Let's try to find something a little bit more simple. Hmm. Let's go to Google.com. Let's see what Google's got. View source. They also do a little bit more sophisticated stuff. Um, so this stuff right here won't really make much sense to you right now. As time goes by, hopefully we can sort of make sense of what all this junk means. We won't be getting into JavaScript in these. JavaScript's going to be saved for something completely different. Um, but we're going to get through some HTML. HTML stands for hypertext markup language okay that's what the acronym stands for um, HTML is a programming language that is dominant on the World Wide Web HTML uses special markers called tags that indicate how web browsers should display uh, page elements such as text and graphics um, tags are basically text strings that are used to identify HTML elements uh, format appearance um, many elements have starting and ending tags. Okay, this basically says this is going to start it, this is going to stop it. So don't worry about it. We're going to actually write a program here, and I'll show you what that is. HTML is what is called an interpreted language. All right, this basically means that the code isn't compiled. The code is actually going to be sent over the web into my browser, and my browser will actually read it and interpret it as it goes. So if, again, if we go to, if we open up our web browser, go to view, go to source, this doesn't look like a whole bunch of zeros and ones. This is actually ASCII characters that if you knew how to read, this, I mean, look, there's English words in here. This is not compiled code. This code is going to be read by the web browser, and the web browser is going to read it to a certain point. And it's going to understand that, all right, in between these two opening and closing tags, I know what to do here. So it's going to interpret it. It's not going to 
be compiled and it's not going to be uh, you know read that way by the computer's processor. So let's go over some standard HTML. Uh, well, why don't we write our very first HTML web page, and we'll go over what everything means. There are going, there are tags that we have to have in order to have a standard HTML um, document. So what I'm going to do real quick. Step one in our Notepad, we're going to go to File. We're going to save as. Let's click. We're in My Documents. Let's go to My Webs. Double click on that. Down where it says File Name, we're going to click. And we're going to name this index, I N D E X dot H T M. HTM is one of the extensions for HTML. So now that we have this in place, we will save it. Okay, so we're out. Let's view our web document at this time. Let's go to My Documents. Let's go to My Webs. And let's go to double click on index dot HTM. So we've actually written something, even though it doesn't do anything. We actually have something written. If I go to View and I go to Source, I see that it's just a completely empty document. So let me close that, and I'm going to keep this minimized, keep this right here, because we're going to come back to it. And I'm going to close this. So let us write a document. The first thing that we need to have is an opening HTML tag, and that is written as such. Open HTML there. This basically, let me make this full screen, this is going to tell my web browser that this is an HTML program and it, now it knows that it needs to open up its HTML stuff in order to operate. Let's go down a couple of spaces and let's go ahead and close it. It's always a good idea to open and then close right away. I closed it. Now we can see here, all, all I had to do to close it was do a forward slash in between in between these, I forget exactly what these are called, uh, but this basically says here's the beginning of the HTML and here's where you should shut it down. File, save, open this, refresh, nothing still. Let's view our source again. View, source. Aha! We actually have some content here. <laughs> Not much, but it's something. Let's close this, minimize this, and let's go for the long haul go in between here. Press enter a couple of times because we're going to be adding stuff in here. Um, so the next thing that we have to add is what's called a head tag and that's done as so. Open the head. We're going to go down two spaces and then we're going to close the head. Okay. Basically the head tag is a section of the HTML document that will store optional information. Uh, basically most of most code generators put their mark in here. Like if you have like Microsoft's front page, it's going to put in here this page was generated by front page and things like that. Um, also, another thing that we're going to put in here is the title. Now, we don't have to have a title for our web page, but it's always a good idea. If I open this, the title will actually be displayed right up in here. All right, so let's minimize this and let's give our page a title. So, in order to do that, we need to have an open tag, title, titler, title. And then right now we're going to write hello world. And then we're going to close our title. Save it. File. Save. When I push refresh, watch what happens up here. It actually says hello world. So now our document, it even says it down here. Now our web document is identified by the word hello world. View. Source. There's our code. I'm not going to be viewing source uh, from now until the end because we can just kind of look at this. <laughs> Here's our source. Um, great. So now that we got that out of the way, everything is good to go. Now, just real quick, you don't have to have head and everything on a separate line. You could actually write this as one straight line. See, if I brought this up here, and let me bring title up, that's perfectly fine syntax. Another way we can do this is put that there. Oh my goodness, I think you guys see where I'm going with this. Let's bring our HTML. This can be an HTML document. It can all be on the same line. We're not going to do that because it just makes it easier to read if we space it out like this. So just so that you guys know, everything, uh, everything can be put on the same line. The next one that we're going to do is um, 
we're going to do a body tag. Basically, the body tag marks the beginning of the actual output. Whatever is coded in the body will be shown in the browser. HTML is a very picky language. Um, everything that you put will put that you put in the body will print exactly as coded. So we're going to open up our beginning body. So we're going to do body, and then we're going to go down a couple. And right before HTML, we're going to end it. So now we have the skeleton of our very first HTML proggy. File, save. Let's see what this does. Absolutely nothing, <laughs> which we're fine with for now. So now let's actually put some text in here. Uh, now if we just want to print out plain text, we don't have to have any print command, any echo command, anything like that. All we have to do is print the text. Now there are special characters that we need to use for certain things and we will address them when we get there. So first we're going to do hello world. Simple enough. File. Save. Open up hello world and refresh. Oh my god, look at that. We have a proggy. We have a document that actually displays hello world in our browser. Not a very sophisticated web page, but hey, it's a start. So everything is going smoothly, everything is going exactly the way that we want it to. In uh, lesson one, this is as far as I really wanted to get. And actually, I have changed my mind. I've actually sat here and decided while I was doing this that I don't want to use Notepad. I want to use a free program called Context to write this stuff. So we're actually going to go out on the web and get it. So I'm going to go to Google. And I'll show you exactly why I want to use Context. As soon as Google decides to load, bounce a wow wow. All right, we're gonna type in. I believe we shall find it. Programmers editor. I think this is it. Okay. Um, let us go here to download. What do we got here? We got all kinds of stuff. New version. Download it from the primary context site. Always best to download the newest version of software. Save it. We're just going to open it because all we need to do is install it. There's a whole lot of different editors, and when we start doing like PHP and other web development stuff, I'll introduce you to some really cool ones. Uh, this one's a free one. Uh, one that I'm going to show you in PHP later, which is going to follow the HTML lessons is going to be um, a really good one. It costs a couple of bucks, but it's definitely worth the price. Uh, but right now I'm working with open source freeware, which is the way things should be. Um, we're just going to keep plugging next, plugging next, create one. I don't really want a quick launch. I don't want to be read me, and I don't want to be bothered. So next, install. Awesome. So we should have a context icon. There she is. Let us open up context, and I'll show you why we're going to start using this instead. I wasn't going to use this, but I decided why not. Um, it's going to give us, I haven't seen this version yet, but we don't want to use this. We're just going to go ahead and close this. All that context is, is it's a regular text editor, just like Notepad. We're going to go to File, we're going to go to Open, and let's go to our My Documents. Remember how we have our My Webs in here? Open this open index you see how the tags here the HTML syntax is actually separated I like that it makes it much easier and if you click on this little down arrow here we got all kinds of stuff like if we start writing in C++ we're gonna have all of our C++ stuff uh, shown out Fortran HTML Java JavaScript Perl PHP SQL uh, Visual Basic XML which we're going to do stuff in later. So this is kind of cool. This is a neat little tool. So why don't we just add one more thing to our hello world. Hello world, exclamation point. My name is Kevin. And I am learning HTML programming. Oops. Exclamation point. Hopefully I spelled that right. Save file. Come down to our web browser and 
if I click my little back button here, I should have my little back arrow. Hello world is right here. Click on that. There it is. Hello world, my name is Kevin and I am learning HTML programming. Close. Close. Thus concludes our very first lesson in HTML. Again, I'm Kevin and uh, it was a great time and come back for lesson two where we will continue our exciting our exciting uh, exploration through HTML. See you then. Bye.